the haul from today and it's 6 15 walmart closes at 8 30 there's three of them an hour away within about 20 minutes of each other we're gonna try to get to them before they close um let's hope for successful let's go we made it an hour away to a walmart let's see what we can find boom Boom. Boom. Here we go. Stop number two of the day, one an hour away. Score. Yes. Got another one. Here we go. I checked that store, but I guess I was mixed up with a different store, so. Dang it. All right, day one of Walmart clearance. <laughs> it was quite well. Um, I went two for four. This is the first uh, Walmart, my local one, that this is all they had. It was 11 Lego sets, is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. They had, actually, <laughs> I just looked at the receipt. I think this was full price, 24 bucks. Like, uh, I might have shown it was on clearance and I just grabbed it. Um, I'll have to look at that. <laughs> Maybe return it. If, yeah, I'll see. Or just live with that, live with the decisions. Um, so. What did I, let me just go over prices so I kind of get familiar with it. Here's this receipt. Probably, yeah, it's acting funny. It's, uh, there we go. So, what do we get everything for? 19 bucks for these. El Fuego stunt truck. This was uh, 25. And these were 15. This was 15, I want to say. What is it? 41372. Yep, 15 for that. Nine for these. Uh, six, two, three, six, two, 15 for that. I don't know if that was a clearance either. <laughs> I think it was. It just seems like not very many pieces. Any. Um, and then this is 24, but it has 389 pieces. So I don't know. I just grabbed and went. <laughs> and then we went to an hour away to three other Walmarts. And the first one we went to had all this stuff. And the other two had this stuff, but it wasn't on clearance, even though the app said it was lower priced. Um, at least on one of the stores. I didn't check the other store. I just was like, it's here. We're going to look at it either, anyway. So I definitely saw this one who had the clearance, and we went there, and it was a hit. So very happy for that so we spent 436 at this store and um, 19 dollars again for these there's one two three four five six seven eight of them and a couple of them like two of them had some nice box damage or three of them do whatever so we got a total of eight plus was it two we got ten of those so that's a very good amount to part out very happy with that 4,000 pieces. Uh, we got six of these, 174 pieces. These were nine bucks. Yeah, nine bucks for these. I didn't have any at my local Walmart, but they had them there. And then um, got some more of these. So we got two originally, and then we got, now we got three, four, five, six of these, which is a decent number. I'd still part it out if I don't get any more, but I'm obviously not going to part any of this out until clearance is definitely done. Um, then we got two more of these. So now I had I bought ten initially. I just got in the mail from Walmart online with the you know sale price or ten dollar gift cards with them. Now we got two here and one over there. So we got thirteen now of these. Surprisingly, they had this. 
I didn't know this was going to be on clearance. Thirty bucks. These are these are twenty five again. So I got they only had two, and then the other two Walmart's I went to had a bunch of them. I was like, oh, I wish I were on clearance. I really wanted to get more of these buses. To make sure I get enough to part out because I will not be parting out two. Probably wouldn't even part out three. I need at least four, five, six would be I would prefer to have. And then we got uh, one, two, three, four, five more turtle turtles rescue mission. Um, so we got five there and was it three? So we got eight of those. That's a good number. And one more of these for fifteen dollars. So now we have four of those, which is okay. Not the best, but I would definitely be okay parting out four of them. And that is a great haul. Forty to fifty percent off retail on all this as far as the Lego, you know, shop at home retail, but that's good enough for me at this point and what's going on lately with low inventory, people can't find it. Get it while you can, I'm telling you, or it won't be there. Well, it is Tuesday, 5.30 a.m. I am off again to find more of these. Hopefully my last trip and I'll be good. One store says it has six plus of these, and that's where I'm headed right now. All right, we are an uh, hour and 25 minutes away from our home, and we uh, I see a Walmart sign over there. Here we go. Shelves. I almost left six more of these. And um, there are these on the top shelf too. There we go. All in. out of my way. Let's hope they have some. have it down here <laughs> it's a lot of stuff here's from yesterday two buses and I think I got 13 more today 14 more <laughs> 15 more <laughs> crazy crazy amount of Lego sets we have going on here all right so it is um, 10 50 a.m. on Tuesday here just getting to shipping. I'm gonna have to run to the post office today. 
So we had 12 packages for eBay and um, 15 total items it was. Brick Owl, one order, 26 lots, not bad. And then for uh, Bricklink, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but one of them already packed up uh, yesterday. It just wasn't paid at the time, so we have eight new ones since yesterday's packing. Um, so that last one is 22 lots, so we have 144 and more minus the 22. We have 122 lots to pack up here, so a 60 lot order and some smaller ones. So very nice, I gotta get to work. All right, here's uh, Walmart number one and two from uh, Monday. What date is that? Mark it down, Monday, July 13th. 2020 is when they started this clearance. And then this morning, I left it just after 5.30 this morning, Walmart's number three and four. <laughs> yeah, I have way too many of these sets. And I have a lot of these now. I got, what, um, two more yesterday, Four more today, so now I have 16 of these, which that's pretty good. It's a lot of set, a lot of few parts. Um, let's see, what did I get it today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen today. Yesterday I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-five sets. Nice. That's going to be a huge upload. Twenty-five times four. 20,000 parts. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Anyway. Um, is that right? 10 times 5 would be 5,000. 20 times 5 is 10. 10,000 10, parts. 10,000. This, this, these sets will add combined. And then we got this one. Seven today and where is it over here I know I have some oh, 8 9 10 11 12 13 of those total okay, only got one of these today unfortunately I was hoping to get a bunch of these I like the little sets as you know so I got one two three four five six seven which is good little sets are good got some more of these that one's backward uh, Stephanie's gymnastics show I don't know the part of values I just grabbed everything um, at the prices one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I got eleven of those. It's my favorite number to part out. Typically, eleven or sixteen depends on the size of the set, uh, amount of pieces. And then we have the school buses. <laughs> Only got two yesterday, so that's what drove me to go find more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So now we have sixteen school buses. I got eleven school buses at one location. So, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I must have got three at the second one. So, 16 school buses is amazing. And uh, is that it? Oh, got one more turtle thing. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of those. That's a good number for a small set. And then I had two single sets that I put under away for my Brick World convention stuff, if that ever happens. So I'll just not even deal with them. Oh, got an extra shrimp. Uh, so got one more, 17 of these, even better. So this was awesome. There's about four more Walmarts I could hit, not going to. Uh, there is two that I got clearance from um, as well before. I'm gonna see if I can wait till the second price drop because they're very rural locations, not very, but less populated areas. Um, we'll see if that happens. So I'm not gonna be partying on any of these sets the next two weeks. Uh, next set I'm gonna part of is the Lighthouse of Darkness or whatever it is of Hidden Side. I need to do that. I think I have eight of those, so gotta find a spot for all this stuff. All right, here's a before look. I got that out of the lake, so I'm not gonna be parting that out. It's just been up here. Here's a before what we what we have going on. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I kind of want to build the shelf on this side of it as well. Um, for my eBay store, uh, my random stuff that I purchased from women's shells and things like that for my secondary store. Uh, so I can have some organization with that. And some of this stuff does not need to be here, and I don't have room for it anywhere else. So let's see what we can do with transforming that area with all this stuff. 
Well, I think that went quite well, actually. <laughs> I used up as much of the table as I could. Uh, stuff. I, did, I, did, I have some, uh, you know, bigger Lego sets buried back there. Uh, but I'm okay with not doing those for a while. I, I did some pretty good progress the first few weeks of my time off. Um, so I do have these. I just moved these out of there. The lighthouse I talked about, I want to get that done next. Or this one. I might start with this one. It's small. This fat man. I've got, I got a bunch of these at different places. Clearance at Kohl's a while back here. Some of them. And I had this shelf for the uh, conventions that I was going to stack Lego sets on. I never got to use it yet. <laughs> so I figured I'd just set it up. I mean, you can... I just I've never used it so I want to try it out too it's very nice here very very nice I thought about using this as my for my other eBay store for now I just put that on there this is stuff that I can easily part out in a day I mean a few hours there and I'm not sure if I'm gonna even part out these nice collectors ones not sure yet on that stuff and then just small stuff just to get out of the way uh, but that's all stuff I can part out get it out of there and use it for what I want to in the next few weeks I'm gonna start up that. And then, um, yeah, it's stacked deep in there. It's awesome. This is an awesome backlog. Don't be jealous. <laughs> I'm never, I never stop trying to find things. I never stop hunting for it. Even though I don't have time to do it, this is what I do it for, for times like getting the Walmart clearance. If you have the, the means to do it, um, do it. I mean, I have, you know, a certain budget every month I try to stick to and I just won't buy anything, hardly anything the rest of this month and and I'll be around the budget I normally spend. So uh, I love this to know that I don't have to buy anything for a long time if I don't want to. So we also have the Ultra Dragon. Is that the Ultra Dragon? It's the original guarding still. So thanks who he's up there keeping time. And we are happy about this. I cleared out, cleared off this whole shelf too, and this is the next shelf I'm going to clear off. I'm going to part out that AMC set. Um, it's not all complete. <laughs> um, there's more. Uh, ooh, Vikings chess. Is that complete? I didn't know I had another one of those. I have more eBay stuff I need to sell. Not Lego related. Right here. So I have these two boxes and those two boxes there. And that's about it. I'll clear off this shelf and now I'm going to try to use all this for my other eBay store eventually if I can. Um, at some point I'm going to get through these. Oh, but we will see. It's going good. This is crazy. It's 12.19. I'm just now getting to packing up orders now for pulling them. So today's just a different day. I knew this day would happen. About getting out. I mean, that pile of Lego sets is amazing so I should not have any more hiccups like that. It might be one more day I venture out. Uh, in a few weeks, possibly, but I don't know for sure. So let's get this done. I'm going to take it to the post office. The biggest order of the 60 lots is done. It took me maybe 10 minutes. So fast with any fixed stuff. All right, here is the uh, Tuesday mail time. It's three Bricklink orders I got in the mail. So I uh, don't know the name of the store. I uh, came here for. I don't know. I probably came here, it's probably one that came up on my list, um, so I honestly don't see anything that I would have come to a store directly for. Um, at, when I did the wanted list, it must have had a number of parts, and it was one, probably a store I recognized. Is that? I don't think that is the right helmet in this one. Look, I have, in this order, I have this helmet which is the Stormtrooper one that I had before. I don't think I would have purchased this because I have tons of them. I have to check that. Uh, anyway, um, here's another order. Very small. I came here for Blackheads. I ordered them. I knew I ordered Blackheads a while ago and I still haven't received any. So finally, I'm, this, this is a Michigan seller. I'm like, I'm just going to order some local close by as far, you know, and I finally have some. I have so many figures I can't build can't complete because I don't have any blackheads. It's strange. And then here's another order from one of the brothers I talk about. Not sure which one is which. They don't have cards to show you. So came here because I always check. This is one of my top five stores. I always check. Um, you know they have stuff that is high, very high priced in there that I would never buy. Um, but they always have stuff that is decently priced or low. So I take. I never have huge orders anymore. 
because of their pricing, but they do have their quality. Quality is amazing, so I'm sure the high prices kind of you know go through that because their their used stuff is pretty much you can't tell it's used most of it. So that is the mail time. All right, let's take in the size of this Bricklink order real quick. There you go. I can tell you it's 18 18 lots, and this is the amount of plastic bags that were used. In that one. It's just laughable. I don't I don't get it. The good news is all of these are in great shape. I don't I don't mind uh, reusing them. They're you know they, I just kind of if they're if they're really used I will not put them in here but these are okay so put them where they go and it'll be going out in my next order most of these so it's not I guess it's not, I shouldn't really complain about if I can reuse them. And if they are already, already really used, then they're reusing them, so reuse, recycle, whatever. All right, I just went through three Bricklink orders real quick. Uh, mostly the ones I got today, I think, the Solstry. Able to rebuild these. I'm going to relist these. It's uh, $245, $251, actually. I'm going to do one use set today and call it a day. All right, after relisting, this is where we're at on eBay, close to the end of the day. And then on Bricklink, ooh, but those lots are way down. Is it under? It's not yet under 150 though. So, um, so we're gonna add some parts the next two days for sure. All right, here we go. I have all the parts uh, sorted by color. There's actually some stickers left over. I don't, I don't know. I think maybe these parts are not even here because to me it looks like they're on this color part, and I don't see them in here. So either way, doesn't matter. What time is it? 307. Let's see how long it takes and what we can add. And here's what I'm gonna put all this all these parts into this one set from this one set into these bins. My used stuff. I, I really mingle them. Um, it's what I find works best and I'm <laughs> I'm barely breaking into my stuff I need I'm using here. Uh, and I have a ton of drawers. I probably could just take out a bunch like this and start using them again. There's I do that when I for mini fig parts. I've, I've rarely ever created a new one, except recently. <laughs> I think I just did. Um, yeah, I just grabbed one the other day and put some in there. But um, whatever works. All right, just going to show you some in, uh, inside information or how I do it. <laughs> Everyone does things differently on Bricklink. Um, so basically, I get a good number of drawers. I know there's going to be. Uh, I try to separate color as much as possible. It's easier when you're finding parts when they sell. Uh, so in this one, I've, I've already put one of each color or one black in each one. So I'm going to go back starting here. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of a rhythm you got to get to keep keep on. So I had six of these are going in U three nine seven, and you move on to the next one. I'm just going to skip down real quick to show you. Okay, two of those. Um, to show you what I do, um, there's one, there's two, found them. So to show you what I do, if I already have the part in my system, I just, uh, just open up another wind, whoop. I hate that button, I try to use this scroll button. I, I open up the other window and it tells me it's in three, six, seven. So I'm just going to take these two and just put them in there right now and they're in there and then at the end they're already put be put away uh, as long you know if there's only one in here you would just change the number here to one obviously um, and go on so that's as I go through them I do that so I get back to where I was right here two of these one two all right, so here's what it looks like after the black and blue colors are all entered. A couple big blue pieces in there and a couple black ones as well in the bigger drawers. But this is what it looks like and then we're moving on to bright light orange. All right, here's a look at what we have left over here. Or not left over. Um, once all everything's entered and put in the proper drawers and entered into the system, this is what it looks like. So, and... Um, I've shown this before, but I'll show it again since I've all set up. So what I do when I pull an order, say somebody buys uh, all of these little yellow cheese slopes, I'll I'll have my cart this on my cart, this yellow tray. I will dump it out, 
you know, two hands will grab all the parts I need. And I got them, put them away, and then quick and easy. Everything's back in its place. Put the door back. So that's how I do it. Uh, it saves definitely saves space instead of one lot per drawer. All right, so here are the numbers. Uh, 194. It's not wanting to focus on it. There we go. 194 lots. Let me get into my. Uh, see if I can uh, check before I push the buttons here. So we have a total of. I just. I know there's just earlier. It was just a little earlier. So 8174 is what number. We have adding 491 total pieces. That's that's a nice upload there. This is what I had left over. I took stickers off a couple pieces. Um, these I save for firefighters. These I don't need in my store anymore. And that was not in the set. And that I found later. So I'll put those away. Everything went through. 8174. Let's go to the bottom one and figure this out. This F5. This thing. 8174, 8300 it said. It's funny it said it down here, but not up top. So, nice. And we'll get that back down tonight, I'm sure, with some sales. Alright, we made it to Wednesday. And I feel today's going to be a very productive day. So, let's start out by telling you about Brick Owl. Uh, four orders. Uh, one is decently sized, so... And then, uh, so there's four there. Bricklink just has two. <laughs> a total of eight lots I gotta pull. Well, that'll be fast. And then on uh, eBay, 27 items sold. So hopefully get this done by 7 a.m. And I'll show you what I did last night. So we did a... We had two of these used sets that are all sorted by color in here now. That's going to add some good lots. Uh, we have these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine of these. This sorted the first one by color. And then we have eight of these lighthouses of darkness we're going to add today. Sorted them just by color. I didn't sort it down very far. This is, doesn't have very many. So, let's get this going. Well, it looks like I need to change my ink. <laughs> nice. Alright, eBay is out the door. Got my coffee. 6.18 a.m. Let's do this. I can find my headphones through there. I like to listen to music as I pull orders. Look at this, 6.55, I have both Bricklink and eBay ready to go. I have nine hours between now and 4 p.m. to add parts to Bricklink and eBay. Obviously, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be doing all this. Not yet, as my first priority is eBay, so I have, I, have, I didn't rebuild cards yesterday because there's like 10 of them, so I'm like, I'll just do them all today so this is my first order of business this morning gotta go let the chickens out i'll probably get some breakfast real quick and then i have um one two three four brooklink orders oh and i have those things i got from poland i need to take care of too so i'll probably try to do all that right now and then move on to this all right got everything rebuilt here had to put a couple away have some uh waiting for parts 8 20 a.m I'm debating if I want to go for a run. It's quite nice out there right now. Um, I'm going to get these relisted and then go upstairs and decide. All right, so I did do the run. I remember. I usually do very productive mentally and physically after that. It was only 75, not very humid. Um, if it was like 80 something and humid, I would be pretty worn out like normal, like a normal person. Um, but here's my splits. I was quite slow today. 802 was my average pace, but I did take the dog out. Should I find Sunny Girl? 
You need water? Yeah, I usually she, I don't take her out anymore but it's, if it's over 70 because she drags me behind. But I went a different route today to help that matter. It's a little, little less and I let her go in the backyard and finish the three miles. All right, here's the, brick, the first brick leg water I'm getting through. Just completed him with the torso. I got two of them. So I'll take the other one and put it in my Pirates of the Caribbean bin. The next time, this is actually, I think it was a a promo, promo bag or something but it's actually kind of rare or it doesn't sell very well um, if you are collecting parts of the Caribbean you don't have this one we might have it in stock so but I think I sold one in the last year and the, the parts are cheap dollar 25 for the tour so I had the rest of the stuff so there it is all right it's 9 30 I have four Bricklink orders here to go through I just went through two smaller ones I got one guy, that guy still. <laughs> Second one is just Nexo books and other accessory things. Um, so let's get this done and uh, I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do some of this until I feel like I need the rest of the time to do these, these part outs. So we'll get moving. All right, got two on the last order. And then we have this. I already took out this head to, to complete that figure the other day. Um, I don't even think I need any of this, but we'll put it away. All right, got one on that last four four lot order. And then I have this one and one more. We are moving. It's 9.48. Uh, already digging into the last Bricklink order here. We already built these two. I've never actually had this head grid. Never actually went and got the parts for it. The torso is different as the this old version with that old head. So. Um, got that going and then we're going to finish this up and then see what we're doing next. Alright, the last Bricklink order was a good success here. Had a quite a few. And then, so that's what I've created. Uh, I know I have to photo that one. Uh, I have to photo that one. I think that might, yeah that should be it. So, um, list these then go through some minifig parts. <laughs> There's so much to do. I just forget what I'm doing sometimes that I have all this other stuff. So. I'm going to quickly just process the Thanos here because that's the only minifig over there that really needs some manual work. Specifically, I have to get all the stones out of my store. I, ha I just checked. I have every stone but orange. I had these three that I've never listed for sale, so I ordered a couple more because um, I'm going to sell all six of these complete on eBay with all the stones within the, in the gauntlet. So that's the goal. So I have that coming. I'm going to get these ready, and then once the stones come, then I'll be able to list them up. So, somebody gave me a tip on uh, my last video about, because I would go into the price guide and then search through these for looking at, like, this is how I get to my one listing. And there's a setting. I don't know how to get to the setting. I googled the search on how to get to it, and I found it. But that was last night, so I'm going to do it. I'll do it in my comments video, if you didn't see it, uh, for the vlogs 43 and 44. I'll do it again, but you go to color info. In my inventory. Look at this. This will take me right to my inventory. That's awesome. And then also, if you do view all colors, it'll just bring up all of them like right away. So this is the page I want. I'm gonna take. Um, I'm gonna need six of these. I'm gonna drop that down to 14. That's gonna be deleted. That's gonna go down to 60. Oh, I need more green. I th oh, I have. I think I have a full ring. Um, I'll have to look at that one first before I take it, and then this will go down to one. So I'm going to update those here in a moment after I pull them all out and uh, get this going. All right, so I have five colors here that I did not have trans bright green. I have four in my store. I'm just going to leave them in there. And I ordered some on the ring. Uh, looks like some of these i got to change prices on. They're just too high now because more sets came out, and they have them and more available, I guess. Uh, but I have everything I need. For four colors, the red I didn't actually need to pull out of my store. It came in the set, but I did anyway. It's already done. And uh, just got to wait. I ordered another order for the the bright green and the orange. So we will put these with these guys. Or the, I'm going to get the gauntlets out and uh, just put them away for now. I already have this listing that is about to expire. I think they go away between 60 and 90 days. It's not very... Um, consistent unless eBay change it. 90 days would be nice uh, but it was definitely 60 for quite a while um, so I did I did take one of the bright green out so we have a complete one so I'm gonna relist this right away 
on eBay so I don't have to re-photograph later so it's the same yep same one so but it's new now that one I had there was used from a store I don't talk about there we go I got the one we're listed and then the five all with the four stones that I have I could put an orange and a lime on three two, two more of them trans bright green but let's wait till they get the ones in the mail because I can't list them all I want to list list them all together at that point so I still have this Batman set and I just put, did, put those back there and then I have um, Gamora and Star Lord in here so after I part out today I'll have more and I'll probably do that on Friday that's what I'm gonna process many things probably the whole day these ones they kind of can take some time sometimes but Usually the end of the week I don't part out, I just do minifig stuff anyway. Alright, here's the first batch of Bricklink items. I will be adding maybe most of them, not everyone, but look at this. Harry Potter has the has the gills. I'm going to see if I can complete that one, obviously. And then what else is cool here? Oh, Ronin from Guardians of the Galaxy head. The Accuser, I think the name is. Something like that. So, first thing I'm... Gonna put this for sale. I just know the name of the character is Farron. I just typed in Farron. Comes up. Boom. Boom. Oh, uh, there's nothing in my, in my inventory. I know that by just looking there instead of looking through all this. Now that's awesome. So the price guide about a dollar twenty six used. So let's get it put it up. Let's time this out. I got zero items to notify. It is just about eleven. So we're gonna see what this comes to with the lots once I once I add all these parts here. I'm not going to add them all, but most of them, and I'm going to get some minifigs ready. Alright, I'm just going to stop at 11.15. All I had left was this Harry Potter gill head that I'm not really sure I'd look up, but we'll say 15 minutes, I was able to add 22 lots, so let's drop it down to 20 lots, times that by 4, so in theory I should be able to, and I'll go down a little less, 75 lots an hour of uh, going through minifig parts, and I did write down my inventory value. Let me just check. 363 is the low numbers of it. So I'm at 389. So what is that? $26 I added to my inventory in 15 minutes. So is that good or bad? I don't know. Uh, obviously if you have more expensive parts, I don't think anything was too expensive. There's a couple dollar things. Some things that were 50 cents or 30 cents or 20 cents too. Um, so, but most of it was around, you know, 75 to cents to a dollar that I added. So, there's a good little thing there. All right, so now it's 11:15. What I did, I'm gonna try to go through one of these a day. Uh, obviously, heads are a different story. Maybe I, maybe I'll bring those. Let's see, what we can get through. I really want to add mini pig parts because um, I know my sales. I just had a bunch of sales that were mostly just minifig parts and I, and I just know that they drive so many sales and I want to do that. I want to drive sales. 11.36, I just it just popped up there. There's a head I cannot find. You can comment if you want to find out, but let's see how long it takes. Um, I should have a timer down here. No one's responding right away. It does not say anyone's typing, but someone will. Let's see how long it takes. Here you go, the search is on 11.38. We got two people typing. Uh, 327 Aaron, he's the one that I think started this whole Discord uh, bricklink. He's asked me to. They're awesome at finding pieces. Well, I have people here too. So we'll see if we can find it. I want to say maybe it's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um. Hmm. So, I actually found it myself. No, I couldn't find it. It's the doctor from the whatever dimensions, Doctor Who. Come on, those two minifigs. Figured it out. Now I'm trying to find out another one. Some of these, I don't know why I don't know, but this, I have no idea. I'll figure it out. I found it. Obi-Wan, just, just that was just like five seconds after I stopped the last video. So how did I find these? You're probably wondering that. So all I did was put head, gray, eyebrows. Uh, beard is a tricky one. It doesn't always list things as beards. 
there are like different things that, that you call facial hair, but don't even put facial hair, never do that. Um, but the color of the eyebrows seemed to be a good way to start. So there's 197 options, and they, one was on, they were both on the second page of this, but we found them. All right, I got through all the heads. I only put away maybe five of them. See how these are all listed for sale. Most all, well, actually, I put away most of the yellow ones. I, didn't, I don't think I listed any yellow ones. All the flesh heads I listed is what I did. So let's see, it's now 12.04, so we'll just say one hour ago I started listing stuff and we have 55 new lots on here, so that's pretty good. Oh, and I was able to get this head and this head and complete some minifigures, so that's another bonus right there. Those are some two good ones there. Got a brick I'll order in, and they purchased 430 of these. I counted, I got them, um, I just had a ton of that color, so I put them all for sale and I, for one penny, $4.30 for 430. I'm glad to see that go. It's, my padded numbers are no longer. <laughs> but now I am uh, getting ready to record a video, my comments review of my last two vlogs. So I'm just getting, a, how I do that? I just pull up both videos, just basically let the intro run on one of them. And then I go down through the comments here and talk about mostly all of them. So, just uh, gonna do that now. All right, we have our station set up for these two uh, used sets. I think I got them for five dollars each, so ten bucks. I paid for these sets from a great seller in the Wisconsin, Bricks of Wisconsin, that sent me this box a few vlogs ago. For free, it was very nice of them. They gave me such great deals, and that was great. So hopefully someday I'll be around that area, um, and maybe they'll come out and see me at one of the conventions or sales or something. So anyway, um, I have all these sorted from last night by color. These are all color. These are just ones that are right by black, bright, white, orange, bright green. So I know they're coming up fast. And that's uh, these are all drawers that I took that were pretty new into the wall. I did not break into any new ones, or these are early in the wall, not new ones. <laughs> the new ones are here. We're up to, what, 401. I did, yesterday I was part of these that you set out. I, um, I, I used new, new drawers. So today I went through and found some that had room. And I'm gonna do that the next few part outs. So just fill it back up, because there's a lot. I just have not, not much, and I want them. I want them more full. I like to use these for my other pers personal storage without stuff for sale. Obviously I could just use these two in the end probably. You know there's there's those three big drawers in that one but like today I'll be parting out um, these two sets of minifigs so I'm gonna need most likely these two or one of them and a small one so either way I can use other bins. I don't have to store them in here it's just convenient for me right now. So let's get this going. All right, we got a lot of things going on at the end of the set here. Uh, the instructions on average are like 175, so I just dropped it to 150. I did put those for sale. They are small, they don't add too much weight. Not more than a huge plate. So like what a 16 by 16 plate I might sell. So um, I, I made, I, I had this hair. I didn't, it didn't come with it in this set, but I made, I put this guy, whoops, I gotta do a quantity of one, or that one. And I, so I made one of each minifig. And then I'm just doing one of her. I'm going to part out the other one of her. But let's see what we get because this is a nice part out. I did I did not have to go into these drawers very much to add parts. Anytime I put a new uh, more of the same lot when I kept it open, just in case the computer had a problem that I kind of should have left them open. Still now I guess, but who cares? Um, so anyway, this is going to be amazing. I just the price on this eighty six dollars. For ten dollars worth of parts, that is an amazing part out value. <laughs> this set, and it literally took me less than twenty minutes. I, it's one forty-five now. I don't know the last time I put a clock on here, but it was so fast because it's it slows me down when I have to like open a new tab and put the parts into the wall that already have a lot, like I just showed you here. There was hardly any. Um, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll check that real quick and see how many new lots are coming in. All right, I have not pushed the button to upload the parts yet, so I'm gonna plug in the set number 40292 is a used set. See how many, and it'll tell me how many lots I don't have for sale. I, so I had 21 already for sale, so I'm adding 72 new lots out of this. 
That's awesome. It's a good used part out value on that set. All right, here we go. I've been, I started this later than I wanted to, but I got a lot of good stuff done. I just had to put my comments review video up. That's now live. And um, so we have nine of these. And I've just got to get to that spot to enter the number. And then I got to start pulling. Oh, guess what? I got logged out of Bricklink. Anyone else have that problem? All the time. <laughs> New people complain about it. You say stay logged in, but it never does. Um, so here we go. So we're gonna, uh, I gotta pull the drawers that I need that already have parts in my store. This is actually the second time I've actually parted this set out. First time I think I did, I think I did eight sets, roughly, if I recall correctly. This minifig, this, this Batman minifig, is a good seller on eBay. I tell you what, I didn't have it for that long, and I, sh I parted a couple out I should not have because the value I got on eBay was probably double the amount for the part out value. So um, I still might part one out just to have some parts on there. The parts might have gone up, I don't know. I'll check all that once I get to that point, but very small set, 168 pieces. I guess we'll look at a box, it gives more information for you. 168 pieces. I'll tell you what, I don't need that metal beard head or helmet. I parted out over 80, <laughs> 80 of the, the poly bags of that. From the movie so pretty neat little set it's got a good uh this is a good piece in there I mean, it's not worth a ton but it's a good piece to have in your store people will come to your store for those and uh let's go all right step one is completed i have every drawer of every lot i already have in my store out and then room for the in order by color alphabetical color uh room for the parts i don't have so this gives you an idea what it looks like yeah, it is 221. Let's get these numbers entered. It's got the, all the black already sorted. Let's. I gotta find. So I'm parting out nine sets. So nine means that there's one per set. You gotta do them. Know your multiplication tables when you're doing this. It can get quite crazy. Obviously, two in a set of nine is 18. So there we go. All right, first set is uh, input in here. Let's see what we got. There's. Not too many new lots, honestly. It's quite a few, quite a bit of uh, ones I already had in in the system already. So there, there's the upload. 213. This is no minifigs. I did put the stars when I first part out the first time. I did put the star with this other guy. I forget his name. The red-haired guy uh, and his spear. But I still have one for sale in my eBay store. Just one. And I thought I'm not going to put it more on there. I'm going to probably put a couple of him complete and part out the rest of him and add this to that. But I'm going to definitely put all the Batmans, well, maybe not all, but mostly all of the Batmans on, on eBay. So, um, these are 12 bucks. Most of them are 12 bucks. I got them for 980 more. I'm going to say basically the minifigs are all profit is what, what happens with this one. It's not the greatest of part outs, but the Batman, um, there's nine of them. I'm going to get over 10 bucks for each one. That's... About $100 profit, roughly. I'm doing this for about, this will take me not that long. It's 2.39, I did take like a five minute break. Got some water and a snack real quick before I start entering the numbers, but uh, let's get all these parts added and gotta break open the last eight sets now. And then move on to this. I We're going to a candy store tomorrow, so I've recruited some help um, in exchange for buying candy from some others later. So I'm gonna get these entered hopefully by four o'clock this set and then come back down later. I told them they gotta have about 20 minute shifts. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, there's bag three left there. Bag two here, bag one put away. 253. I'm gonna have it all done and all cleared off ready for that one. Hmm. will give me 15 minutes. 20. At 3.15. All right, last one is put away. I did not quite make my goal, but really close. I was actually done sorting um, right at 3.15, so it took me a good five, six minutes to put everything away. And now I'm gonna quickly move on to this, and hopefully by 4.30 have it entered. I'm gonna have to work a little past four, and then uh, come back later and have some helpers. Okay, 4.06, Wednesday. I just got all the drawers out that I'll need, and all the parts that are already in my store. I just cleared it to stay another 45 minutes, get the parts uploaded at least. So my day is going a little longer than normal, but that is okay. 
Walmart clearance kind of threw me off for the week the stuff I needed to get done or wanted to get done so get this done and then the rest of the week will take it a lot more easy all right folks 449 I got them all entered we're about to verify this bad boy see how much money this is worth so I paid 30 bucks for eight well actually no I did buy three from Lego at 50 and I got some free promos so We'll just say those three were 40 with the promos I got. Um, and 30 times 5, 150 plus 120, 275. Um, I hope that sticker sheet did not. Oh. Remember, Mark, I put the thing in the wrong spot there, apparently. I gotta go back and edit, edit that, but I will not do it now. I'll do it after I hit the button. 801. That is nice. Take 25 bucks off every hundred. It's about 600 bucks. I'll sell the, the the parts for. It's not even the minifigs, and I paid 275 for it. So very good upload here. All right, let's check where we're at now. Before I head up, we have zero lots for sale. There it goes. <laughs> One. That's definitely, I think, a record for amount of parts for sale. 8,500 lots. Not a record. I've been to 9,500 almost, or maybe. 96 somewhere around there but yes that was an awesome upload all right we have well there are only four bags and i didn't realize it and i have recruited some help it's 545 which number do you want to do i think i want to do number one number one it is bag one is done all right 705 and we are done just got to put all these away it's a nice upload all right, it's 6.30 on Thursday, July 16th. Got up a little later today, <laughs> slept in. Big big day yesterday, running and all this, parting out late. <laughs> so on Brick Owl, just two hour orders. I think I showed this one for 431 parts. 430 are just visors <laughs> for a penny each. So that, that did put my numbers down, but that's all right. Uh, then we'll move on to Bricklink, where we have five orders. Woohoo! This will be an easy one. 31 is the most lots. So I'm, some some days you're happy to see that. <laughs> I have 54 lots there, so 60 total lots I have to pull, right? Yeah, 62. Um, a little tired today, so I'm okay with that. Still $72 worth of product, which is pretty good. And then on uh, eBay, apparently you search Jester for Lego, and this comes up. Ooh, nice. <laughs> 27. Nice. So let's get this going. So it took less than a week to sell this guy. It's 15 bucks. Nice. All right, 7.20, and I have all these ready to, to pull, or to grab one and pull it with the cart over there. The drawer's still open. I, I grabbed um, some Lego bags out of there, because the last few mornings I haven't used them because they're just not here. <laughs> Every morning I just got to grab the number and what I think I'll need so, that, so I can just easily access them, not forget about them. So let's do it. Here's the first order, 431 parts here. So I pre uh, pre counted these and I probably have a, an extra three or four per hundred in here. That's how, how I do it with the counting scale so there it is. So here's some parts from the, the Hidden Side Lighthouse of Darkness. Um, they ordered 48 and I've just come accustomed to even though it says they ordered everything I count everything now. There's only 46 here and I know this drawer was quite full there are the two missing escapees right on the side there. <laughs> so we'll have to we'll have to get those out of there. There's one and there's two. This is wild. Out of seven orders on Bricklink yesterday, see this feedback? Zero, zero, zero. I had five of them have zero feedback. That's a good sign. New people are coming to Bricklink. I was just uh, rebuilding this guy that sold last night. 
and I was getting the, sh the armor for him and I noticed that this armor was in there with it. I had no idea I had this armor. I just think I got some recently. Maybe they threw this one in an accident. Um, but I'm going to build this guy. Um, here's this. Comes in one minifig. The price guide on this. It's like a seven to eight dollar armor <laughs> uh, used. So people are buying it up too. And uh, so let me check this minifig out. It's a Kingdom's Dragon Knight with chain armor. Revise your beard. Oh, I, ha I think I have this head. I have all the other stuff. Ooh, a pearl dark. I, I may not have that. Let's see what the cost is. Oh probably why uh, if I have everything else I'll probably go go ahead and buy that if there's some for sale yeah somebody great condition I'll probably buy that one for 475 or 430 for use but um, let's see if I can do it I was just checking here because I looked at the set that that night comes in let's see if I had a barding I do so let's get this guy this is gonna be a great great thing so I was checking in here and I have one. Don't need to buy one. Awesome. It's on the helmet and everything. So look at this. This is all ready to be photographed. Got everything I need. Got the helmet there. I got to take this plume for up there. Got it. And it was a it was an older black horse. I did switch it out to the correct one. And man, this is going to be how much? I think this barding is it alone is quite a bit. I mean, if I if I recall correctly, fifteen dollars on average used price for that. So this is going to be like a forty to fifty dollar sale here. This is awesome. It's a great night. That's for sure. He does in the picture of the set. He does have the longer shield. I don't have any. I put it on my list, but that'll that's not going to hurt the sale of this at all. So this is awesome. <laughs> All right, just after 9 a.m., got everything rebuilt. I put away about six cards from yesterday, but um, so get most of these relisted real quick. I do rephotograph every spaceman, so he'll have to be photographed because of the, the difference in the gold and stuff. That's something you should do. Um, you know, I mean, and there's a couple of little nicks in the very front, very very small, only noticeable in certain light, but it'll be photographed. So that's in there, but everything else should be good to go right back up. And uh, I only have work until 11 today, heading out to the candy store. All right, here's a look at, uh, was, this is from Wednesday's mail. I just, just, just never got it yesterday, <laughs> so now I have it. Uh, this is one Brickling Order 5 lots. I'm pretty sure I came here. These are two bucks each, but they said they were new. So, and they look new from the, the Lakes for a Chew, and this is the best quantity. Um, I mean, obviously new, you'd, that's a good deal for two bucks a leg, I guess. Something that's about 30 years old. <clears throat> Got some uh, mermaid tails and some uh, uh, Indian feathers. I was pretty low on them. It's hard to find a couple that I from the ones I rebuilt today. So I used two of them today on the two Indians I rebuilt there. That chief doesn't need one, but and then got some more of these. That they had these are these are new too. It's weird. And I got my first uh, shipment of instant ink. So my computer's connected to the computer. Or, my printer is connected to the computer. It tells it when it's getting low, and it will resend. It'll send a new package of ink before it runs out. Apparently, so 20 bucks a month for 700 pages to print per month, and it's uh, an extra dollar every 20 pages after that. So I explained this on a previous video. I believe it's going to save me 150 dollars a year, maybe more. Depends on how much I, I'm not, I don't even keep track of how many pages I actually print. <laughs> but from what I know I spent on ink recently, definitely going to be saving. So that's it. All right, it's uh, 10 o'clock now. i got about a good hour of doing some stuff here. So I'm going to start with this, where I got the, uh, I paid 45 bucks, plus I think 10 shipping, so about 55 for all this. But the reason being, it doesn't look like much, is because that one will get fetched over 30 because... She fetches 25 without this honey pot, but with the honey pot, it's like 40. If you can get someone to buy it, but <clears throat> we'll see. So I just have my uh, book here of cards, 
And I know, like, see right there, Series 9 Fortune Teller, she is here. Uh, she has two tarot cards. I have, I think I have some if she doesn't have both. Um, let me check. This is a mess that needs to be sorted out better. It's one of those on the to-do list, as you know. Sometimes it's best to look underneath. I see a couple white things over here. There's, oh, that's the same one. Um, there, there it is. We have it. So, I might get, that doesn't look nice. Um, I might, it looks like just a rub off. I don't know, it could rub off. But, um, <clears throat> you might be wondering why don't I list all the stuff on Bricklink? Because that's the reason why I try to keep on things that I think I will need or end up having to order. Um, if I have a bunch of them, uh, multiples, I may list a few. I have done that. Um, and sometimes I'll get a lot of uh, minifigs and I'll list 95% of what's in that lot on Bricklink just to get stuff going on there. Um, but not always. But we're off to a good start. She's ready to go. I guess I put that one away. Alright, so here's what we did with this. We have four that are completely ready to go and they all need photographs. He needs a hat. I don't don't seem to have one for some reason. Uh, his legs are really bendy and like just loose. So he's complete except the legs. I put them on my list. They're really cheap. And then I have these are all extras that I already currently have for sale. And I did put a couple actually away in my drawers. Um, like I I'll, I keep all the welders in here as an example. Who else did I put away? Oh, I put away the fitness instructor because I just had many a lot of her I don't know I'm gonna run out of room I really should uh, consolidate some of this stuff and put stuff on Bricklink it just doesn't sell often on eBay um, so there's that and then I the hippie was missing his flower so I put him in there um, I don't know I, I found this that I, I when I was looking through stuff I had is the fishtail for the mermaid gang ocean gang merman and I had his head and his uh, headgear and beard so I just need his torso for that. So overall, these are going in my extras bin, which I've, I'm having thoughts about this right here. I should really clear this out because my um, my convention stuff is so stocked right now of stuff to go to a convention. Um, but sometimes before I go, I'll take stuff out of here. But uh, I'm thinking about putting a lot of this on Bricklink. But the thing is, not everything. Obviously, it has to make sense because some of the stuff I buy off of Bricklink and just put in here as extras. There's that because I know it sells on, on eBay. And some of the stuff I may not even have for sale on eBay. I just got to go through it and check. So that's where we're at. So this is these, this, I'm going to put both of these in my waiting for parts even already have. I don't have a card with this one. I'll do that because once I get it, I'll, I'll know to look here. And these go into the photographs, which tonight I should be doing. So we got a good good amount here. These ones, there's a few here that need to be, uh, I need to make cards for them. There's the Iron Man's I got ready. And Friday, I should probably build all this stuff and put parts on Bricklink, but I'm gonna do that on Friday. Um, maybe I should just finish out this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now because I have the Iron Man ready to go. So it's the next step and then we'll list a few parts on Bricklink and be done for the day. Alright, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm gonna spend about 20 more minutes uh, trying to add some of this stuff or put stuff away. A lot of it will be put away. Actually, this was my Bricklink pile, I think, when I was sorting through it. I was like, these this stuff, this stuff definitely is going to Bricklink. Maybe we'll start with that one. And I just, I made the, made the cards I needed to make on these new ones here so that I can take photographs later and they have the proper labels. So we're looking good for photographs tonight. All right, it's about quarter after 11. Uh, this is how far I got. <laughs> I listed a couple of parts, but not many. I, but I created these, amazing. Uh, I just put his head for sale yesterday, uh, and I found the torso, and I had a hat. So complete. I had the wings. This is in there without the wings. Complete. And uh, this is in there without the cape. I got a cape. Complete. And then a blue future on. So we are... Happy, happy with today's work. Just folder photos tonight and list those tomorrow. All right, it is Thursday's mail. I just got back from a nice trip to central Wisconsin, I guess, to like a really touristy area. 
and had a good time at a candy store. So, got three Bricklink orders in the mail today. This was from Bulk Brick Vault, I think. There's no paperwork. Um, but I, it's funny, I remember because I ordered these because I was completely out of the dark brown hoods for they go for the peasant uh, old male and like the blacksmith and things like that. And they sent me a message right away saying, uh, oh, this is funny, it was on Monday. They were just talking about my store, my videos, I guess, on some TikTok stream or some other, or Twitch stream, I think they said. I don't know, <laughs> not even sure. Um, but it was funny that I ordered the very next morning, so got that. Um, obviously for those, I had a good quantity of those and some other things. This is from April's Paradise of Bricks. Um, I honestly don't know how or why I came to the store, but I, they had some really good friends characters that I sell pretty well, I sell pretty well on eBay. So I got picked up those and some other things I needed. I, I know I needed these torsos to complete this character. They had two. And then uh, this, not sure who this is from, but I came here for these legs because I had a bunch of things to complete the mini fig, the Tormax fig, but not any legs. Um, so I bought a bunch of the legs there that I had for sale and some other things that I had on my list. So, and that's it. And then I got another one of these. I just got one yesterday in the mail, so I'm not sure why I got two. <laughs> Maybe it's a backup for when you run out of the first one. I don't know. Um, I haven't opened the other one either, so it says to not install them until it says low ink, so that is the mail for Thursday. Alright, it's 5.30 Thursday night, um, just finish up with dinner, everyone's taken their uh, hour 90 minutes, hour and a half of game time, so normally that's about 2.30 every day until 4 and that's when we all get together, but we went on a trip today and uh, debating if I'm going to do this or this. Uh, I figure if I do this, it might take up the whole time, but it might be worth it. But this is fun. I like, the, I want to do this one more than this. I have my photographs ready for tonight, and then um, I have my bag of candy. Let's check it out. It's not. Oh, this is mine and my wife's. I'm a big fan of peanut butter candies, so Chico sticks are one of my favorite. My laffy taffy. And oh, she looks like she looks like yeah. Oh, she took her fudge out of here. So this is pretty much all mine. Um, I think the kids were saying they didn't. They were putting these back, and I somehow got more than I. I think I only had these two, and I had I already ate one. But watermelon. Maybe I did want that. I don't know. I'll eat it. So there's the the candy haul from today. Oh yeah, and these are pickle flavored. The new flavor pickle. Had a couple, they're actually pretty good. I like them. All right, I tore apart the mine storm that was built, and the parts I took apart I threw in here, color coded them for now, and I'm done with this today because I'm not gonna definitely wouldn't be able to get it off, uh, get it up for sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to this, get this for sale, all the parts, part it out. Obviously, I'm gonna take the mini fig out to eBay and with the hand solo carbonite. Alright, I'm just near the end of this part out of the Slave 1 here, and it's good to inspect them. Uh, some of the parts, like, this is like a dollar part new, apparently. There were six of them, and this one had more than normal marks on them in spots, see that? Um, so I just, I'm not going to, I might put it used, but I'm not going to, I just took it off the inventory. Only put five for sale, and then this is not perfect. I mean this is old stock stuff so you gotta understand that it's been around the block and if someone expects it new they're not gonna expect all these marks so I'm gonna I'll just put in the description I'm gonna lower the price a little for new old stock slave one set but it has some minor marks and spots so just to be careful so just so they know when they get it that it's gonna have some marks even though it's listed as new it has never been used um, it does have some marks so all right, with old stuff, there's always things you got to watch out for, and I'm learning as I go too. Um, I don't really part out too many old things, but these are yellowed. I am not going to be selling them at all, um, even though they're in a new set. They're yellowed. I mean, <laughs> you can't deny it. Uh, try to sell them to someone, they're going to be like, "You listed these as new," and white new is a big thing um, with builders. They expect it not to be yellow, especially if you mark it as new. So watch out for that. And I'm actually going to put these on uh, Bricklink. Because of the prices here, what what the average person wants for a new one of each of those is that. 
And then for the book, um, I marked it down a little bit, but I, I also put that comment, new old stock has some, has some minor creasing. Um, it's, I mean, it's still considered new. It came right out of the set, but never used. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, I guess a lot of Lego instructions are like that, honestly, when they come out of the boxes, but just going to put that in there. No confusion. So overall, not going to sell those. These are parts I already have. I got to throw them in once I get to the next screen. I got to put this in a, a new shoe box. I think it's number 10. I have instructions in. Whoa. I have them in uh, 12. Okay. I will sell instructions sometimes. <laughs> so I'll be back with the next clip. Alright, so I put the parts away that I already had in inventory here and now we're just gonna go look at the winners of this set kind of remember them there was uh, some of this old brown a dollar twenty, a dollar fifteen the old gray was that old gray? yeah there wasn't very much dark gray but decently priced um, right here this green slope apparently is very rare Three dollars and twenty-five cents each. That's what people want for them right now. Um, this uh, hinge roof holder in light gray, new, is three dollars seventy-five cents. Now these prices may be inflated because they're new pieces, because they're rare to find nowadays. New. Mm. Um, but this this four mm. L lightsaber blade in light gray, three bucks. Crazy. I don't know if I'll ever. I mean, these are going to be you know a percent off sale that I always have, but. And these two, this one was like seven bucks almost. This one was over 11. I marked them down a little because of the note I talked about. And then there's this little one by one headlight, 6.95, nuts. And then that's what people want on average for these two pieces. So 150, 104. And you know, take about 25% off of that. It's about 40 bucks less than that I'll get in the end. So about 110 bucks. And the, it's only two of these sets sold new, and I'm guessing they were sealed boxes. One was for, for 80, one was for 110. This was an open box. One of the bags is open. Actually, uh, some pieces were missing. I think four tiny little Technic pieces were missing overall. Um, so I'm happy to part it out in that case. There it is. And with this box, uh, I might have mentioned it before, but I'm going to be eBay selling this with the Millennium Falcon box after I part out the Millennium Falcon. Um, I'm basically just going to be selling them for the price of the shipping, I think. I'm going to try to, at least. I don't know if I'm going to buy it, but because boxes. I mean, it's going to be light, but I don't know. So let's do a wall report to finish this off here. So I was able to turn around every small drawer. There's a big one up there that's not. This one I kind of skipped over. I didn't see it uh, until 566, and then it goes to 795. So... He has a couple spots for big drawers around, but it feels good to start making progress and getting those turned back around. Obviously, Monday morning, it'll look a lot different, <laughs> I'm sure, by then. So, it is what it is. Um, there's, but there were some weekends where I would get every single drawer turned around, but that was probably when I had, well, like 1,500 drawers. Now we got parts all the way up until 22. Uh, whoa, it goes all the way down here. 2301 I've been I got it used up too so that's where we're at there but obviously the big drawers like I was saying before parting out bigger sets having bigger inventory you know getting a lot more than I need to use these bigger ones for and hopefully I'll get some more numbers get this row at least numbered before I part out anything else big because I will definitely be needing more <laughs> and then as I might have shown before I took the big drawer and you put it over to my used section because they're not as vital over here I don't believe I still have a few. I didn't do it for every single one. Uh, but just this row, I think, mostly. And I think we're good with that. And then this last row, I did it as well. So if I ever get a section here, I'll see. I have to reevaluate if I might have to use different um, stack ons that have all big drawers for a couple rows. I might do that just for one side of it. I don't, I don't like the thought of changing it up different. I like to use the same ones. But in the, in the end, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's facing this way, <laughs> we can't see it from over here. I think I'd be okay with that. So that is it. Until next time, keep on.
parting out. Keep on finding Lego set deals.